Okay, sometimes um, I find it difficult to talk about how much I make my innings because you know, back in those days, when I would share my innings. Oh, if I make up to a million, 10 million back in the days, I say, Oh, I made this amount with so much enthusiasm, happiness. It's me saying, I can't believe I would be able to make this amount. And me trying to say, Oh, I'm glad I'm making this, you know, like a celebration. You know, when a child just recently um, scored a point, did something he believed he wouldn't do. And then I'll get lots of messages in my DM, people telling me, oh, you're proud, oh, you, you, you're too loud, oh, you make so and so amount, why can't you keep it to yourself, what's the essence of showing off, I mean, those things were just me celebrating and being happy, you know, having, having been someone who, like I trained myself in school, didn't have parental support, um, I don't think anyone even envisioned I would become half of what I am. And it's a beautiful thing that despite not having parental support, family support, um, I basically struggled, trained myself throughout school, got the morals degrees, became a software developer, built a company for myself. And so when I actually celebrate my wins, it's me saying, oh, despite all odds, I did it, you know. But I mean, some people are saddest in life, so they have not had a reason to celebrate. And so you celebrate and feels like you're making mockery of them. And so they jump onto you to say, you're proud and blah, blah, blah. I just want to let you all know that for the past two years plus, especially since I started making money from Google AdSense, I've not made as much as I made this April. This April was beautiful. Like, I can't score the exact amount because I wouldn't want, you know, I don't know, for saddest steps in. But it's only around the six figure. Um, I've I've really really hoped for so much. I think last year I wanted to get a Ferrari. There was this point I was so obsessed with the Ferrari, and I was like, I'm gonna get it. Before now, uh, my favorite car used to be my Crosstalk because I love it a whole lot. It's something I I I plan I plan to go buy and wear, 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 wear for years before I finally got it. And I think I shared the story one time. There was this guy that was driving on that cross road and took my girlfriend <laughs> when I was in school. So I told myself I would get it. After I got it, I bought so many cars, but I was just so particular about it. So one car that I've been particular about since last year has been a Ferrari. It's not like I can't liquidate my whole self to get it. But I mean, that is stupid, right? You don't buy a car and um, then you feel like something left you. So Google Adsense has been paying extremely well. Um, especially this April, which is the highest of all. Um, like, I was scared at the point, and my fear was, okay, this might be the point my attendance account will get blocked because the innings from every section was quite high. I even had someone reach out to me. Let me see if I can find my Telegram. I don't know. I don't know how they actually got my contact. Maybe they actually got it from... Let me find that thing. They actually got it from... Uh, I don't know. I'm just guessing, you know. Maybe I don't know. I don't know how to really call my number. Wow, well, my telegram. Like, but well, I didn't really give the guy a response. I'm looking for the chat. Hold on. And uh-huh, this is it. This is the chat. It's a plus four nine. I don't know what country is plus four nine. Hi, Danny. I work for a click fraud detection company. I would love to review your bots, course, and write about it. It's is that is that something you'd be interested in? Thanks. This is it. I don't know if you can actually read it. But let me see if I can. Uh, my front camera is dirty. You might not be able to see it. So as usual, uh, my message, how are you doing? He said, um, thank you for your message. Blah, 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 blah. Well, me, I'm even having skepticism. Some people tell you that I don't really talk much about the Google AdSense, but I don't tell you things deeply. It's true. It's not like you. In as much as I tell things about the Google AdSense, there's certain things I'm quite wary of sharing. I have skepticism to show much, like if I'm actually talking to someone, okay, that, that I'm not going to start telling you how I actually filter people. But if I see people who are just new and are basically wanting to join the Google AdSense system um, genuinely and they already have like a page already, you know, and they've been in needs for some time, let them in. I think I think my teaching is open and still um, secluded. Like my biggest algorithm, the way I get to click on ads, it's some it's not something I really want to explain. I can teach you how to put your mouse 
on a particular ad i had to screw the page to look for where the ads are and click on it but the deep deep algorithms i use i mean obviously it's not something i want to you know disclose it to anyone and i'm scared and i'm happy i'm scared because my earnings this april was all high i just hope google doesn't really fix things up google has been investing so much on ai detections for clicks i'm not the only person who does this stuff though. like there are lots of good people all over the world i think everybody's just being bent secretive i'm just somebody who's good in leverage so anything i know i try to leverage it like just like i figured out on the 1.5 on sports betting i could easily just lock myself indoors and keep playing the other 1.5 but i decided to share the tips um leverage it so try to maximize all the innings i can make you know before the system clamps because i know this betting company has said oh, they want to do something so i have this mentality i'm entering and it lasts forever so if i figure out the hole why i'm eating from that hole i know there's limited there's limited um there's limited how do i put it should i use the word bandwidth but there's a limited rate i can actually eat so what i do is to just call a lot of people who leverage it and i get a cut so that's the kind of person i am if i see where there is gold i know i can be packing that gold but i know that maybe the owners of the gold or let's just say the gold is in a place where the government might discover soon so i rather call a lot of people to come and help me pack the gold and i get a cut from each person who packs yeah that's the kind of person i am so the google adsense um paid all high this april and what I actually have in my mind at the moment is to, I don't know. I don't know if to use the word go on, on the hold at the moment. Because like I said, it's good and it's bad. It's a positive news for me because it was all high. And it's still a part of me selling my should reduce my innings. Um, not really my innings, my, like I should reduce my activity rather. Because activities is, activities is what actually gives you the innings um think about that i think i will just actually just go so low a bit so the way it actually works what really gives you excessive innings or big innings on google adsense it's not usually the views um there's three major things the first one is the interest of the of the persona or the personality so each person has um a browser history that helps define what they would see um for instance if i'm a mother and i have a gmail account i have a female name or my sex on my google account is female and what i browse often it's kids related stuff baby related stuff recipes you know and um that is just basically all i do often and now if i meet like a calm music or a, a calm stream music i would see things related to baby stuff or you know what i do as a woman i'm giving an instance if i'm a woman and then if i'm a man who is off to like an investor i'm always trying to look for the next firm i'm going to invest in i would start seeing adverts from like robin hood adverts from bamboo advert from investment company now the two differences those investment companies they pay heavily just to have their ads displayed on their prospective you know audience which is people like me you know i'm giving you an instance if I'm an investor, maybe constantly I'm browsing about stocks and all that. So they pay heavily to get the attention of people like me because people like me are who they want to patronize them. They don't just want random people to be seen at fat on Octa FS and all that. So um, if I'm also producing baby things, like I produce baby clothes, baby wears, I'm looking for mother who are, mothers who are actually taking care of their kids. I won't just be taking my ads to like everybody. Imagine showing you know baby adverts to like maybe me as a man who is only interested in investment i mean that's like a waste of you know ads um budget so the way google ai actually works is to you know understand what people's personality are uh, or what people's personality is and then um show you know adverts related to what their personality is so i see lots of people feel it's just their niche yes your niche also helps what you do helps because i mean obviously what you do attracts um firstly the kind of people who will be coming in so if i do content around investment i mean obviously only investment people will come in and that means uh, investment companies will show their ads 
but the kind of niche we use we do not really do unique content like i don't do unique content where i will sit down and start any you making videos about um investment or okay i think i have got i don't even use my bot on relapse i want to be able to um grid it organically i know how it works um my audience organically but other pages where i use my bot on i don't create like unique videos or niches what i basically do often is to do live streaming live streaming on video car music um gaming um uh, most times even the gaming are actually just pre-recorded so that's how i just um, live stream pre-recorded videos using ops most times it's car music so how i get my innings is i nurse or i farm you know we have what we call click farm or stream farm or personality farm whichever uh click bot farm any of them but within my own farming, I've created a system where I get to build bots that are, you know, into the high CPC niches. Um, so let's say, for instance, like the investment I gave you right now. So you create up a Google account, put it up, you know, fit a particular persona because I'm a data analytics, I'm a data analyst rather. So I do my analytics like properly. I know the particular audience, people who are in particular ranges who often, you know, consume certain content. So I create my bot in such a way that... Oh, I, I make my personality, create Google accounts, then, you know, generate histories. It's not something I do peculiar for one bot. I really have an algorithm that does all these things automatically. So I don't just sit down and do them all by myself. Although I kind of sit with the system because my AIs are not that smart enough to... Not like it's not smart enough. I mean, as time goes on, I'll keep getting better in, in it. And just like as Renaps is automatically, it predicts games and does everything itself. I feel one day I would no longer have to, you know... um what's the code again i will no longer have to supervise my bot that's if google doesn't you know catch up with me okay so basically we farm up the personalities we build up the personalities more and um the personalities now determine what they would see when they come into like a car music stream like a car music stream for instance if i'm streaming a car music right now this is me streaming a music that is calm right so it's not really a niche that's Okay, um, if you're doing content on um, cryptocurrency, yes, only cryptocurrency people will find you. But I mean, any, every, anybody googling for a car music just wants to relax. So Google will not start showing you things on car music. It will just basically give you like normal ads. And so that is where your personality, which is your history, search histories and all that comes. And so that is where the, those personalities we have farmed so far you know comes in and you know that is where we're able to say okay if you have beauty personality for instance around gambling or around um insurance you know like you've generated um, search histories and all that within the account now fine that is where that person starts or that bot rather that bot instance starts seeing advert like that and then the next thing that actually gets you um paid it's your engagement rate uh, what people do not know is seeing the videos alone do not really aim you much on Google AdSense, but clicks. So, and even the clicks, the clicks who call invalid clicks, the clicks who call follow through clicks and full landing clicks. So, I'm going to start with invalid clicks. Invalid clicks is those fake clicks that they just click even before the page opens. Like, imagine you click on an advert, advert never even load, finish, you don't cancel them. What you don't know is Google has analytics on those pages. So, once you click on an advert, Google is already tracking that page to know how long you spent on that website. Um, what you did on that website so people who create bots just create bots that will just click on an advert they don't even let the page land and it will show on your google adsense dashboard that yes an advert was clicked but what you don't know is that at that click is invalid because it did not really last for long um the second one not flowing through it's when you click on an advert maybe it's like a form because what people don't really know is <laughs> like google actually does i don't know how they do it but they actually tag every single pages like um, they tag pages for us. I want to advertise with Google and I want Google to uh, um, bring visitors to my website. Google first of all go and inspect my website. Yes, so this is why if you have a website that has to do with pharmacy like drugs, if you have a um, website that does adult content like pornography or sports betting, you know, Google will ask you, do you have a, a gambling degree, like a lottery, a certificate to show you you are being approved by the government to be a gambling company because your website is talking about gambling. If you don't say yes, you don't 
provide your your certificate google will not accept you how do i know years ago i was trying to advertise things on my google i was trying to advertise my sports betting prediction on google they did not let me even facebook now doesn't let us anymore because they said we need a gambling license so i'm in the process of procuring one but now i'm just giving you an instance the same thing with drugs so google actually goes through you know the landing pages of those advertisers and so most pages they already have like the, it's not just google doing it specifically but these systems have been built over the time to be able to know okay this is a page that requires login so most bots would actually open the page but it doesn't go through like it doesn't go through the page to at least interact with the forms that are there you know there's already a typical behavior to show like google analytics is on every page that you know you often learn to for instance in a normal human being comes there they'll open the page they'll fill a form and then they will not click next sometimes they will end up buying the products from the website but at least they've tried to create a free trial right maybe the advert is something related to a free trial well now your own bot to just open the page the page will just land it to just scroll up scroll down and close it's not reacting the way other people react so this is part of what i get to teach on my adsense course like it's heavy anyway and that's how when i see most people complain um can you just um give me the bot code let me just go and install it yeah it's possible okay but i mean it's beautiful you also learn how the whole thing works that way you appreciate the whole system yeah, and you appreciate more of what you're getting so my own bots are actually um see-through so that means when they click on an advert they follow the advert through to the end so this simply means if i have 200 clicks um let's say the cpc is like um 50 cents for instance which means two clicks a dollar and i have 200 clicks which means hundred dollars because each click is 50 cents let's say hundred dollar now get paid a hundred dollar and you'll be like oh you're having 200 clicks but i have 2000 clicks now what you don't know is your 2000 clicks by now probably be see-through maybe they were not all done to the last maybe they were invalid traffic um so many things could be but mine anything that engages within any adverts around my niche or my page or any of my channels you know it's all validated so it's beautiful sometimes when i come to talk about my bots i say to so much happiness because it took me years to be able to build this masterpiece um you know i don't talk i don't talk about it much can you remember the last time i did a video on google adsense i can't recall i don't really talk much about it um um i don't know i don't i don't know how to talk anymore when you when you show how much you in people feel you show too much when you don't still talk you know they'll be like oh let's see proof so but i'm really past the stage of trying to prove anything to anyone if anyone actually asks me anything else to do google adsense i tell you or like stuff like oh is this real i've seen a lot of scammers i tell you um i think the easiest way to be able to know when one is real and one it's fake it's from the depth of their knowledge like you can't really fake something you know or something you don't know right the easiest way to spot something is to actually engage that person on a conversation like when you see most people talk about google adsense bots they can't hold a conversation for 10 minutes you can't actually ask them technical questions. They can't even explain why certain things were done because, I mean, obviously, they don't, they don't even know shit. There's still some genuine programmers who created bots that would click on things. They'll just tell you, oh, the bot comes there, clicks on this, but they have not really made money from it. You're talking to somebody who has made money, who has created the bots, who has made money from the bots, who has also had so many trial and errors. Like, all these things you're, you're seeing me talk about see-through, it's because at the beginning, they were point out, click on advert tired, be showing invalid traffic. So these are years of experience that I've been able to, you know, merge into creating a board that is completely undetectable. Now, somebody who just created a board that is not making money, you know, if you ask him, oh, um, what are your mechanisms to make sure Google doesn't spot this bot? And how can Google not spot the bot? Or what does Google look or how does Google differentiate a fake bot? Who just tell you, are you buying are you buying my bot or not? Or he might not be able to answer you. That's because he's just a software programmer that created a normal bot script that just does to click to, to create a click bot is easy. It's not hard. I can I can I can sit right now on my computer and in less than 30 minutes I'll create a, a, a simple bot that click on an advert why my bot is extremely undetectable it's not just the click it's the actions behind the click because a human being doesn't just click on advertisement carefully you know there's certain things that needs to be there you don't know but as somebody who has done ai for long 
every single thing you do on your computer on your phone it's actually been influenced by something there's always a history that leads to something so google actually verifies basically every single thing they show you from your interactions and when you don't interact with something they stop showing you so google can be showing me a particular set of niche and i don't um i don't react with them and after then google will stop showing me but if google shows me like a video of one comedian he's very funny and i watched the video today last and i liked it and i commented i will start seeing more comedy videos so the system is created in a way that it shows you what it should so people just create bots that will just come in and do random things and when google tries to verify the personalities of those bots then what we call zom zombie bots zombie bots are just bots that just span from nowhere they zigzag they want to click every single advert man you guys should join my adsense bot course it's something you're going to learn i don't know how long we're going to be cashing out or getting high payouts it's it's heavily paying out at the moment we just hope it keeps um, being this way consistently today is what today is the 23rd of april oh i just wish every month payouts can be as april